Praise God, praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. You already know if you see me again, you see me twice in a day, I'm on one. Come on, somebody. Go ahead, press check, press share. I, I need to do a disclaimer. God loves everyone. Hear me, hear me. God loves everyone, but he hates the sin. And so many people are not telling the truth. Let me tell you something. We are to love each other back to life. You know what that means? That means I'm supposed to tell you the truth with your ugly, sinning self. And hold on. You have the right to tell me as well. So let me go ahead and get into my title. Homosexuals, fornicators, drunkards, adulterers. God says, step down. You're just passing demons around the church. God loves you, but not to sin. Come on, somebody. I got to go somewhere with this. Let me tell you something. And I'm going to tell you what brought this up. Um, I, I had a, I did a conference. And anybody that have ever attended my conferences, you know they're powerful. Well, the one in 2015, everybody is still talking about the one in Atlanta. That thing, the threshing floor. Um, and also the one before that. Both of them was very powerful. But I'm going to tell you something. I, and I'm saying it this way because I want you to know who you are. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm going here. I'm going to tell you right now. I feel the power of the Holy Ghost. And this is not pretty, but I'm getting ready to say. And, and honestly, I have to. I have no choice. Because I'm not going to have it on my hands. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I ain't going to have the blood on my hands. I, I'm scared. He said, be, be fearful of the one that can kill the flesh and the soul, the body and the soul. So I met this prophet at my conference. Very powerful prophet of God. Yes, he is. But, sir, we met. I know you love me and I love you. And the only reason I'm not calling your name because I know you are a true prophet. Step down, says the Lord. I didn't know at the time that I met you because we was in the conference. I didn't know that you were dealing with homosexuality. But now you preaching on Facebook, you doing this, is out of order. This is the way you do that thing. And I'm going to preach this thing the way God said to preach it. Homosexual, fornicators, drunkards, adulterers, liars, everybody sin. But here's the deal. Now we're going to talk about some real stuff because y'all ain't been talking about no real stuff. Everybody just pointing a finger. Everybody sin. But now this is how God works. Who can control that thing? That's who preach and teach. Who can control that thing? Come on, somebody. I, I feel one. I'm on one today. Hallelujah to his name. If you can't control nothing, you shouldn't be touching nothing. I control my sexual desires. I control drinking. I control lying. I control being with a man. Come on, somebody. Y'all ain't controlling that stuff. You're doing it on the private and you're coming up public and then you want to preach and teach and reach and all you're doing is spewing our spirits. You have no right to say the Lord and he going to get you. I don't care if it was me. If you know you dirty in your private, you have no business preaching, or preaching publicly. And y'all going to make me say some things. Y'all going to make me go here today. Y'all asking why. Let me tell you something because y'all don't understand. I'm a prophet. I see things that I don't even want to see. I be, I just be sitting down minding my business and God just showed me. I can be flowing through here. I don't even have to be on here and God show me. Y'all asking, and I'm going to go ahead and tell you because it's time. I'm tired. I'm tired of playing with y'all. I don't come against people for nothing. When I say a name, that's because I've seen something that they've done in private. Ooh, ooh, there we go. They doing stuff in private. Why you think he making me say something publicly? Don't you understand who I am and whose I am? Don't you? Let me let me get it. Cause let me slow myself down. Cause y'all don't understand how God works. If I was on here lying, don't you know something happened to me so cool to make your head spin? God don't like liars, especially if they say they prophets. I ain't gonna be talking about nobody and lying at the same time. I ain't crazy. I don't play with God. I'm not gonna get on here and call nobody out that God didn't say to. Because I fear God. I don't fear y'all, but I fear God. And God don't play. God, let me tell you something. God will give you a chance to get that thing right privately before he exposed you publicly. So that means, oh, I'm about to teach this thing. I feel the power of God today. That means, man, a woman of God, before I even came to you, you've already been disobedient. I'm going to teach you today. I'm going to teach y'all today. And I'm going to tell you how you have been disobedient. Shoes, I, I got to use this for something so I can't turn it off. But let me tell y'all something. The Holy Spirit is the first one to tell you. Don't do that. Stop playing. So you already been disobedient if you just, because you notice, notice, we, I'm going to teach y'all today. You ever notice when you really get ready to sin, God will say, don't do that. And then you notice when you do it, it get fainter and fainter. You know why? Because you know already did it. And so God just sitting back talking about, let this thing play out. They're not already doing what they're doing, how they're doing what they're doing. I didn't did it. When I married that warlock in 2012, yeah, I said it like I said it. 
I knew then I had messed up, but it was too late. I had to go through cancer and everything else. And boy, I regretted that decision. I was like, whoa, if I'd have known what I know, what I know. So I have the experience to sit up here and tell y'all, stop playing. Stop playing. That's why I'm transparent. Stop playing. Because he, whooped me. I didn't get, oh, oh y'all didn't know. I didn't just get to, to this point. Um, He whooped me. I was kind of hard-headed, like some of you. I'm going to do what I want to do on the sneak tip. I think nobody don't know. People knew my business. I was the only one thinking I was getting over, like some of you. The Spirit of God will tell your business, people. Too many of y'all, and, and I'm talking about in the physical spirit on Facebook, we got people preaching that ain't supposed to be preaching. Because guess what? You're sitting up there playing with God. And here's the deal why God is doing this. Not to backlash people and to hurt people. He's trying to save you. Because God cannot go against his word. The wages of sin is death. And here's how it happened. It happened in the spirit first. I don't know why God keep making me say that name. Man, every time I, I, I say this, but I have to be obedient. And I'm sorry. He always bring up Eddie Long. I'm just being honest. I just heard it. I loved Bishop Eddie Long, and we're going to call him what he was because he was a bishop. But something happened. And I'm going to tell you something. Y'all ain't going to like this. Y'all ain't going to like me today. Whoever your mentors, they know what you're doing. Mm. So that's, it's, it, it, hold on. We ain't going to blame them. But they knew what was going on. They should have called that man out a long time ago. Look, 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 look. We know what's happening. Now you're you going to get you some help. You're going to say this. You're going to repent publicly. What we going to do? How we going to do this? That's what a real mentor do. Y'all want to know why a lot of people didn't like me, how they liked me when they didn't like me. And they talked about me on Facebook and everybody else because I, I, I approached them. And I'm going to tell you to this day, I still operate the same way. You can ask anybody in my life, even family. I will approach you. You can get mad. You can call me what you want. Talk about me on Facebook, crook book, no book. I really don't care because the only opinion matters is God. If, if, if I do it and hold on. I don't ever do anything without God's approval. I'm too scared. And let's be really real. I don't want to hurt nobody. That is not the thing of my ministry. So you need to understand my mandate. I'm not trying to hurt anybody. But guess what? I'd rather your soul be protected than the way if you like me. I don't care if you like me. As long as I tell the truth. Too many people preaching. We got pastors right now. And yeah, I know their name. And, 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 and we go on here today. Oh, we go on here today. Pastor, they talking about you in the street, Pastor. Oh, you you gonna hear me. You don't know who I'm talking about. You gonna pick it up in the spirit. They talking about you. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The women that you slept with, they telling people. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I'm on one. I'm on one. So so we're trying to which we, we, we you know what we're trying to do. Trying to talk to you. Tell you repent privately before God expose you publicly, Pastor. Not this for you. Hope you receive it, sir. And you know, yeah, you know who I am. I'm talking about. Mm, this ain't no bashing session. Stop playing with God. If you're gonna preach and hold on, I'm not telling you nothing that I didn't have to go through. If you're gonna do this thing, do this thing right. Give God your best. Don't play God. Don't play yourself. Come on, somebody. And too many of y'all doing that on the low, low for the money, for the accolades, for the hearts, for and actually it's for the money. I'm going to be honest with you. Christians, you do have a loving heart because y'all so into the real ones, but y'all actually so more into the fake ones. I'm sorry. A a am I too real today? Y'all so more into the fake ones. I'm, I'm just being real. And look, I'm not trying to not trying to be slick and ask for money. I'm just telling y'all the truth. Y'all do. And, and it's crazy because everybody knows it's true. So God going to hold y'all accountable because y'all feeding them. So they're getting the money. So now they really got to... Now, hold on. So they're getting all this money. You think they're really going to come out now and say, oh, man, we sinning. We got to stop this. They got to keep that that train going, that train going, because now it didn't got into the flesh. Y'all ain't ready for me today. I know that. I know. I know. But I didn't ask for this, and, and it's here. Come on, somebody. I'll you. So he said homosexuals, fornicators, drunkards, adulterers, everybody. Put it this way. If you sinning, step down. Why don't you get yourself together? Let me tell you something, how this is supposed to be done. I promise you, God will expose you. Oh, God, he will. And everybody can't take that. Everybody can't take that exposure. Oh, come on, somebody. It might be a soft one. It might be a hard one. But I promise you, sooner or later, it's coming. Let me tell you why God says step down. Because it's easy to go somewhere and say, God, forgive me. I repent. I have sinned.
sinned against you and the people of God. What do you want me to do? Instead of trying to lie and hide and God, and now you done lost your anointing. You done lost your credibility. You done lost your reputation. It don't have to be like that. It don't have to be like that. Come on, somebody. And, and isn't it funny? He made me go through everything that I'm teaching. Oh, yes, I didn't did it all. So y'all can't say, well, who does she think she is? I used to be an adulterer, a fornicator. Oh, I'm about to say something that y'all probably didn't even know. And I got to say it. I told you you're gonna make me tell all my business before I die. And that's fine, because I shouldn't have been did, I shouldn't have did all I did. Everything that I've just named, I've done. Homosexuality. I'm not scared, I'm free. Fornicator, drunkard, adulterer. Man, I didn't did it all. I repented. It was not easy leaving those lifestyles. But I did. I, I just I said, God, I'm tired. I got tired. I got tired of lying, hiding. I'm talking about when I wasn't even saved. Y'all ain't ready for me. But so when I got saved, he said, you got to deal with that. You can't preach my people with that stuff in you. You got to deal with that. And I had to deal with that. People laughing at me, clowning. I'm talking about she a preacher now. I remember when she used to do this, this, that, that, and that. Yeah, I sure did. I sure did. Yes, I did. I did when I was lost. But God said, I've come to save those which are lost. I'm found now, baby. And hold on, I'm not gloating. That's why I'm on here. Because I have love for the lost. Because I was once lost. I got tears in my eyes. And I ain't no friend. I know what it's like to hurt. I know what it's like to do stuff that you ain't got no business. You can't even stop. Hallelujah. And you want to kill yourself. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm preaching. I'm preaching. I feel the power of God. So I know what it's like. So don't play me. Don't play me. And definitely don't play yourself. But now you have no authority to do what you're doing. Because one thing I never did is got on here and I wasn't right. Mm -mm, I ain't say perfect now. I, I did some things while I saved now. But I don't spew it. I don't have the right to do that. And neither do you preach or teach or apostle or apostle. You don't have the right to do that. Even at a pulpit, y'all don't understand. You don't have the right to stand before the people and preach and knowing that you did what you did, how you did what you did. Because now... Everything that you're working with, they get. And then they wonder why they go and think about another man. Y'all got people in, in worship leaders that's gay. And just because they're well known, y'all got them still in a position. I'm going here. Ooh, you're going to be mad at me, huh, Pastor? I still love you. You got that man in the worship, knowing he gay. And all he doing is just spewing our spirits. Spewing our spirits. I'm not saying he's not a good person. Hold on, hold on. Let me clarify this. I'm not bashing nobody because remember the number one rule, love people back to life. But if you're dirty, you're dirty. I don't care if it's me. You're dirty. You're dirty. Stop lying to people, man. Stop stop all that. That's why people are not getting saved. They're too scared to tell y'all the truth. Because instead of praying for them, y'all beat them up. I'm not saying beat up nobody. What I'm really saying, put that little hand up and go sit somewhere and let God restore you. Let God heal you. Let God deliver you. Let God clean you. Let God, hallelujah, do what he got to do to you. Before you try to teach and preach and reach and do all that stuff because all you're doing is spread stuff. And now God has to backlash you because of his word. The wages of sin is death. It's a metamorphosis. He's not going to just kill you one time, but I promise you, when it comes and it will, you're going to go through so much that everybody's going to know your business anyway. So God gives, God sends people like me, and I'm sure there's some few others. I ain't the only one. I ain't the only real one. Don't get it twisted. I don't ever, excuse me, want to project myself as if I am. And, and even me, I'm not perfect. But I do this thing for real. When I realized that people was dying out there, and when, like I said, God talks to me like heavily, I need you to do this, I need you to do that. When that prophet, he wrote something on Facebook today, I was just scrolling. I did not plan getting back on here. Because so you know what you got to do, and I was like, I feel bad. I said, Lord, and mercy. Because I don't want to hurt nobody. But at the same token, the Bible say, am I ought to obey men or God? I'm going to obey God, y'all. Sorry. You lose every time. Because this is for our soul. The enemy is trying to steal, kill, and destroy us. And we have a church that don't want to be real with everybody because, but, but hold on. Y'all are talking about it behind their back. Well, you know what they're doing. Nah, 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 nah. No. Go to people in love and tell them, sir, pastor, preacher, God then showed me, you need to repent. That's why people are not repenting. And, and hold on, for real, not no getting in front of everybody crying after you didn't got caught. Oops, did I say that? 
You know, John the Baptist is one of my favorite preachers. Let me read something to you. Well, I don't even have to do all that. The reason why they killed John the Baptist, because he told Herod, he, Herod got mad because he told the king, he said, now hold on, this was a small matter, but, but, but I'm going somewhere, walk with me, walk with me. He said, you know you're wrong, right? He said, I know your brother did, but you ain't supposed to marry your brother's wife. Do you understand how the matter wasn't even a grace matter, supposedly, but in the eyes of God it was? And so God sent John, and John knew he was going to die. I know he knew, because God always tell us, by the way. He don't tell us how, but he tells us your time is at hand. And John wasn't afraid. John said, wrong. People would get mad at the truth. I'm going somewhere with this. So, and, and then they'll contact the situation. Dance for the king. She let her daughter dance for the king. The, the, the way they dance in the day, gyrating. Come on, somebody, making people lose their mind, which is a spirit of voodoo, voodoo, you know. What should I ask for, mother? The head of John the Baptist. That's how much people will hate you for telling the truth. What am I saying? I don't think I'm one of the most favorite prophets around here. But I'm always tell the truth. And that's it. I don't care. Kill me. Do whatever you got to do. <laughs> I've been ready. And I'm, I'm not saying it in a negative way. I'm a soldier. This is what we do. One thing about the apostles, and I've studied that Bible backwards, frontwards. We all know what time it is one day. So we ain't scared. Until then, we're to do our mission with every fiber of our being. Hallelujah to his name. And I know truth ain't always popular. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. People get mad. People get mad. And hold on. The devil got, the devil's good. The devil got everybody talking about, you judge and you judge. <laughs> They have a whole book of judges, like I said. They have a, a judge hold on, in a court of law. So hold on, hold on. You mean to tell me that the God we serve, and really search that scripture before you challenge me. You mean to tell me the God we serve going to set a place in the natural a judge and not in the spirit? Y'all lying. Y'all better stop you misusing that quote. That, that, don't judge. Y'all judge me every time I get on here. Is she real? Or is she fake? Or what was she doing? Y'all gonna lie? Because I know I do. I want to know what spirit you're working with. I want to know who feed my soul. I don't want to know somebody lying. I want I want to know. So yeah, we, we judge. Stop lying. We're supposed to. Righteous judge. I truly believe that that was taken out of context. I believe that God says this. Now, we don't have the right to judge who's going to heaven and hell. I truly believe that's what he meant. Because we judge every, we judge good, bad. Let some, let your children bring somebody home suspect. I bet you're gonna be like, oh, who, who their parents is? What, what, what are they doing? Hold on, hold on. Who, what? You asking questions, huh? Hello, we ask questions. Y'all, y'all know what time it is. I ain't got to go through all of that. Praise God, praise God. I feel the power of God. I feel the power of God. <sighs> Keep it just like it was. Homosexuals fornicators, drunkards, adulterers. God says, step down. You're just passing demons around the church. God loves you, but he hates the sin. There it is. That's what he told me to say, and I'm done. I love you guys with the love of God. Oh, 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 okay. I knew it was something. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The classes are online, you guys. I mean, y'all know I'm in Augusta, Georgia. <laughs> so the classes are online, so you ain't got to worry. I have people um, across the country talking about, you know, Scotland, all these places. It's online, so you can definitely take it, point blank in the story. Um, you already know everything else. And, oh, they were telling me, when you go to the website, you have to go to the online store because I have it that way. That way you can purchase it. It is a very low price per God. I do what God said. I don't be doing what I want. Trust me. I, I, I didn't got past that. And when you get seasoned, you start doing what God wants you to do. You don't be worrying about people. You don't even worry about yourself. But this is a process of trusting God because you got to trust God. I'm going to say that again. you got to trust God. Trust God to bring you out. Trust God to, oh, hallelujah. Come on, somebody. You know, and, and when you get real seasoned, he gonna make you tell all your business like you do me. I ain't lie. That that would be getting to me. I ain't gonna lie. I'll be like, I ain't gonna lie. I be up here. I gotta be transparent. I'll be like, huh? Yeah, say it. I'll be, huh? <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, but I'm not. I'm not embarrassing. I mean, it is what it was. You know, I, honestly, I'm supposed to be dead, so I ain't even tripping. I thank God I'm just here and can be a blessing. Again, this ministry is not trying to bash people or hurt. I'm just here to tell the truth and do it with love and. 
all of it ain't gonna feel like love because that's just not reality truth be told when you're growing in god it's gonna hurt it's gonna hurt real good and the reason why i say real good because when god finished with you it's gonna be a testimony without a test you don't have a testimony without a mess you don't have a message y'all don't hear me so be strong in the lord and the power of his might and when you're free you are free he said the truth shall set you free hallelujah he said make you free don't he say make hallelujah so god bless you god keep you i love you through christ y'all know who it is this is apostle deanna dixon where will i so just for this is who i who we are i was going to say i am i guess god want me to know you are right you are right you are right <laughs> god bless